Hi, this is David Mastio, California editor for the Center Square, and this is California in Focus. As always, I'm joined by Kenneth Shrupp, the California reporter for the Center Square. So what new information came out of the census this week? We found Californians are leaving the state in droves, largely for more affordable states, and also that Nobody wants to move to California anymore. California had the lowest inbound domestic immigration rate in the entire country. The Golden State is no longer the top destination for Americans. So does that mean people are more likely to want to stay in North Dakota than California? It means that a relatively larger percentage of people are hoping to move to North Dakota than California now. That's right. Where is out-migration the lowest? Uh, no surprise, out migration is lowest in Texas. It's got about eleven point seven percent out migration rate, or the ratio of people moving out of the state, out of all of those moving into or out of the state. California is the exact opposite, eleven point one percent for the um, inbound immigration rate, which means that most people are leaving. Where are Californians moving according to the census? It's pretty clear they're moving largely to lower cost states with more business-friendly practices. We're looking at Florida, Texas, uh, at least that's what the census data highlighted. Tennessee, Nevada have also been some top options for Californians. Even people are trying to move to more affordable locations within California itself. You also reported on some data from Redfin, the uh, real estate company, looking at city-by-city data. They found something a little different, right? They did. They think the difference is in... Census data is state by state. Redfin is going city by city to show us exactly which kind of person is moving where. The type of moves that people from San Francisco and Los Angeles are doing are uh, fairly different from each other. For example, uh, the people moving from San Francisco overwhelmingly don't only leave the state. Many of them simply move to Sacramento to become super commuters who work remotely, but maybe go in to the office a couple times a week if they need to. People from Los Angeles, though, are moving all across the country. Nevada, I mean, Las Vegas is one of the top destinations. Nashville, Tennessee even is one of the top 10 home buying markets in the country now because their number one source of new home buyers is Angelinos, incoming home buyers from other states, that is. And Redfin said that Home buyers in Nashville were seeing prices go up from all the incoming home buyers. Well, Nashville prices are going up from all these home buyers. The city is growing rapidly. But if you're from somewhere like Los Angeles, going to Nashville seems like quite the steal. Houses in Nashville cost about half of what they cost in LA. It's about $450,000 for a home compared to $880,000 for Los Angeles. How many Californians are considering leaving? According to a recent survey from the Public Policy Institute of California, something like 34% of Californians are considering moving out of the state due to housing costs alone. I mean, they on the survey, they really just selected the cost of housing is why they are considering moving 34%. Check that option. We have a 4.5 million unit housing shortage in the state, which means that no one can really afford to buy a home here anymore. $880,000 for a median home in Los Angeles is just out of reach for most people. If this state's level of out-migration continues and people keep moving, S&P says that the state's credit rating could actually be at risk in the future. And this would have ca- terrible effects across the state economy. State government can't borrow anymore. Spending in services collapse. Who knows what things would look like in California? And the state certainly can't afford another financial hit after the latest data on the budget. Right. Out came today notice that we we're going to have a 26 to $58 billion shortfall in our budget. $26 billion for this year could escalate to $58 billion by the end of the next couple of years on an annual basis, unless we make some severe changes. I was just told that the Center Square census maven, Cole Lauterbach, has news. We're going to be coming back to this story this month. The census will be releasing new data December 19th on state population estimates. So we'll get a more detailed look about what's happening to California's population later this month. I'm David Mastio with the Center Square, and we've been talking with Kenneth Shrupp, California reporter for the Center Square. You can read his work at thecentersquare.com. Thank you for listening to California in Focus, and please subscribe to our podcast. 
Knowledge is power, and you deserve to know what happens in your state government. That's why the nonprofit Franklin News Foundation is bringing you straight news journalism through the center square, reporting on state authorities and publishing stories that show where your money goes and who spends it. By supporting the center square, you can track politicians' use of taxpayer money and demand transparency from elected officials. This is how we can equip everyday Americans to hold their government accountable. Become a supporter of Franklin today at franklinnews.org donate.